this is an interesting thing that's just arrived. Uh, so this is a an Arduino, but it's a type of Arduino that I haven't seen before. So this is meant to be a clone of the uh, Arduino Mega, uh, except that it's very compact. It's uh, surface mount and uh, it's also got all of the the edge connectors here are much more sort of tightly packed to get them onto a smaller board so there's a double row of header pins there to go on the on the edges so as a comparison if I show you what the authentic Arduino mega looks like see this has always been quite a huge board it's got the old legacy USB type A connector on it it's got a big power jack and um, uh, it's generally huge So if we compare also with the sort of Uno size device, this isn't an original authentic Uno, this is a uh, a clone again because the, the real Arduino Uno still have a socket mounted Atmel processor and they still have the you know the full size USB connector so some of these um, re-engineered boards are actually um, you know they're more compact and they have newer connectors and they're and they're quite well made but you see this at mega clone is even smaller than the the uno size board so so that's uh you know a pretty neat d uh, redesigned version i think so what i'm going to do i'm going to solder the various pins on here so that i've got connectors um, I think probably we'll go for the pins sticking up on the top because I think I'm more likely to wire on the top with DuPont than fit it to a, um, a breadboard well that's quite interesting I wonder if it will actually fit on a breadboard That's it's fairly wide for breadboard use, and I think the majority of breadboard breadboards that I've got are all this this kind of size here, or even even narrower. So yeah, I, I think I think the goal is to put the connectors on the top. And then I can wire wire up from the top. So I'm going to find some device that I can drive with this, some um, sensor or I squared C chip or something, and then um, we can go through the process of uh, loading this up in the Arduino IDE and running some test programs. Right, so I've got the the headers soldered on now, so we can power this up. So this is a micro USB on here. So I'll just connect this into my computer here. So we've got some lights on. Now the, uh, the red LED is flashing at one second so I'm presuming that this has been loaded with the uh, the blink script to uh, to test it uh, so what we might do as a first test is load blink ourselves in the Arduino IDE and um, if I change the timing of the blink maybe uh, to half a second we'll be able to see that flashing more vigorously and then we'll we'll know that we're able to 
to load code into it. So if we have a look in the Arduino IDE, see where we are. Now, first of all, I have to select the board. So I'm presuming that this should be loaded as a mega. So I'll choose Arduino Mega. Let's see if it's got a suggested port. So it's saying COM11. I don't think I've got any other serial devices plugged in. So I'm confident that's uh, that's actually the Arduino. And now if we choose the standard uh, Blink script, Basics Blink. Oh, it's just appeared on the other screen. Right. Uh, right, and we want to change the timing. So let's let's say 500 milliseconds instead of 1,000 milliseconds. So that should be blinking at half a second. And I'll do upload. That's compiling. Well, there we go. So we can see it's now flashing more rapidly. Is that half a second? I don't know, but we can we can make it even faster, can't we? To be sure. There we go. So that's a fast blink. Right. So we know that it's that it does behave like a uh, a normal Arduino Mega. So we can proceed with uh, adding some hardware. And um, so let me find a sensor or something that we can plug into here, and then we can load a more interesting script and compile it and see how we go. So I've decided to use this. This is the uh, Dallas DS18B20. So this is a temperature sensor. So it uses, um, uh, it's called a one wire bus. So using either two or three wires, you can uh, power these and get data back through, through, the, uh, through the data pin. So uh, I'll find an Arduino sketch and then we'll connect this up. So it only takes three, three wires and, um, and then we'll try reading some temperature readings. So I did a search for the DS18B20 and one of the things that you hit uh, first of all is this Arduino on the arduino.cc site there's quite a nice uh, tutorial here so this shows you how to wire up the DS18B20 so there's a little diagram there and there's also some code so I clicked on this to download the script the, the Arduino scripts were always got this INO uh, suffix so the script looks like this. Um, so it's simple enough. So what it's going to do is initialize the uh, serial interface here, uh, initialize the sensor. I'm not sure what, what that involves in actual fact. Um, and it's using this um, one wire library, which is included at the top here. And this here hash define one wire bus so that, this is saying that pin 2 is where the data is going to arrive 
So I need to wire up the pin two of my here Arduino Mega. And um, and then I need to provide power to the DS18B20 as well. So I'll use these wires here. Uh, right, so I need three on plugged into the My Little Breadboard here. You'll see that I've actually got two um, DS18B20s here. And also a pull-up resistor because these uh, these chips require you to have the uh, the data connection pulled up to the five volt rail. So I know that the middle pin here is the data pin, and I can see from when I last used it uh, where the where the resistor is. This side must be the five volts. So I'll go. 5 volts with the orange and then data is yellow and ground is green like so so I need to find the right pins on here oh, this is a little bit more tricky than the standard mega because you have to the, there's no well there's a bit of a legend on the on the top but it's quite difficult to see I'm at a funny angle here um, but ground seems to be the inside pin over here let's just double check that with my magnifying glass And there's a five volt right next to it, so let's go with that. And then pin two, so D two is up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven up there from there oh, that's the inside row so from the 5 volts If I skip three, I should be in the right place. So skip three, and then there we go. So there we go. That should be all the wiring that I need um, to make the sensor work. And I should be able to get my finger in here to to warm it up as well when we want to test it. And then back in the Arduino IDE so so we're going to use the pin 2 uh, what this does is it actually it's using the serial dot print so it's going to print out to the serial port so I'm, in a minute I'm going to start the serial monitor so we can see the data coming out of it um, so we've got port com 11 uh, mega is chosen as the board type so we can just do upload which will compile this program oh, and I've got no no one wire library so first of all I need to go and find the one wire library so let's do tools manage libraries and we'll go and search for that one by name Here we go, this looks right. One wire, let's install that one. Installed. Okay, let's try the build again. 
I might need to install the Dallas one as well. Installed. Okay. And we'll try the build once again. Okay, I can see from the rapid flashing on the Mega here that it was loading onto the board. So that seems to be done now. So if we start the serial monitor. There we go. So 23.5, that seems uh, reasonable for this room. I certainly feel quite comfortable in this temperature. So let's, I'm not sure which of the two sensors it's picked. So if I put my finger on the sensor. It doesn't seem to be having too much effect. Let's try the one at the back. There we go, that is climbing now. So, so it's the one that I've got the little A sticker on. So I'll put my fingers around that and warm that up a bit more. Don't seem to be able to warm it more than more than that. I think my hands are a bit cold, maybe. But there we are. So we've got the Dallas 18B20 producing some temperature readings. So that's that's a good test. I'm quite happy with that. So I found this OLED display. So this is one of these 0.96 inch uh, OLED displays. It uses I squared C, so it's only a four wire interface. So I thought it'd be fun to also uh, include this in the project and have the um, temperature display actually coming up on the on the OLED. So if I show you what I did in the uh, in the sketch here in the Arduino sketch, well, first of all, I did a search for one inch OLED displays and I hit this page here random nerd tutorials which is quite useful this obviously looks very much like the display that I've got although um, mine is a cheap clone from some Chinese uh, company and uh, so this advises the wiring on the mega of um, port 20 and 21 so this is where the i squared c is on the mega so you can see that i've put the wires up here on 20 and 21 and then there's another couple of wires to 5 volts and ground so we've got the power rail So that's the, the physical wiring of the thing. And then uh, in terms of drivers, they suggest this here, so the Adafruit SSD 1306. So I've installed that driver, again, using the library manager that I, that I showed you a bit earlier. And um, so some, I loaded up one of the examples that they've got, which is, this one here, so SSD 1306, so it's 128 by 32 pixels, so this is the right one for my display. And um, if if you load this, this shows the Adafruit logo and it goes through a whole sort of sequence of drawing circles and patterns and stuff. Um, I'm only interested in 
text here. So I borrowed this one, text draw styles. And if I uh, look for that, test draw. Test draw styles. So I so I borrowed this code here. So I'm going to set uh, text size to um, white on black, and then I'm I'm more or less doing this. I'm printing a floating point number. So if we look at my sample that I've inserted some stuff into, so I've borrowed some headers here from that sample code. Uh, things saying the screen size. Uh, this one's very important. So um, this is actually creating the display object with the right um, the right screen sizes. And there's a bit of initialization code here that I've added to my setup. It is I squared C port three C. So this this is all matching. And then here, what I've called draw temp here. So this is adapted from that uh, fr from that source code example that we were just looking at. So I do clear display, um, set cursor zero zero. So the cursor goes back to the um, top line on the left. Text size to uh, white on black for good contrast. And then I'm just printing this temperature number that I passed in here, floating point number temp followed it by C and the display dot display actually actions all of this and it and it transfers the um, the the bits to the display so in my main program here I've done away with the writing to the serial console now and now I've so I'm loading the value from that temperature sensor into F uh, and then I'm calling my function draw temp F so you can see uh, see the results of that on the display here. So once again if I put my fingers on the sensor we should be able to see it increasing. There you go, 25 degrees already. Six degrees. There we are. So there you go with you know relatively few lines of code and a couple of things hanging around in my box of bits. I've been able to make a uh, a thermometer, digital readout thermometer. So I'm I'm rather impressed by this uh, um, this mega clone. This very compact mega clone. And um, let's, let's just have a look at where I bought it from. So here we are, it's from uh, AliExpress. I paid £5.79 for this, so Mega 2560 Pro with uh, CH340, that's the, the serial interface. And um, yeah, good value I think for uh, a Mega clone. So one of the things that distinguishes the Mega from other lesser Arduinos is that it's got multiple uh, hardware serial ports on board, multiple UARTs. I've got several of those sound generator modules that can be serially controlled, so I think it might be quite fun to connect three of those to, to here and control them all from the same program. But that's for a future video, um, so uh, for now Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me build something with this uh, 2560 Mega Clone.